There's been a lot of talk about clean energy and if there will be enough power to avoid blackouts in the next five years, especially with the retirement of coal plants across the system by 2025. It's a subject that seems to come up every day for Congressman Dan Newhouse. It's not an exaggeration, almost on a daily basis. This is a conversation that, uh, um, that I instigate as often as possible with my, with my colleagues around the state. Congressman Newhouse and his staff are working hard to avoid an energy crisis and rolling blackouts that may come as a result of thousands of megawatts missing from coal plant closures across the Northwest. Is Congress aware of, of the issue of resource adequacy? I mean, especially when you consider what, what just happened in California, do, do they realize that it is on the radar for Washington State and the Northwest? Uh, Mike, that's, that's a great question. Um, and I'm not, I'm not saying that just to, uh, for any other reason, except to say that I'm not sure that people fully grasp the um, seriousness of the situation that we're facing. Um, so, so we've got a situation where, you know, there, there's a big push to reduce CO2 emissions, um, which, you know, that's, that's not a bad goal to have. Everybody wants to have clean air and, and water and all those things, absolutely. Um, but that comes at the expense of reducing the amount of capability we have of generating power if you remove the fossil fuels from the equation. And without <clears throat> replacing that uh, with true base load capacity that you can depend on whether rain or shine, night or day. Congressman Newhouse is working closely with Energy Northwest, who operates the Columbia Generating Station that supplies the region with 1,200 megawatts of clean, affordable, and reliable power. He and his staff are working hard to break through the paradigm that nuclear is dangerous. Nuclear has got to be part of the equation. The small modular reactors and other technology that's being developed. Jason Herbert with Energy Northwest is working closely with local, state, and national officials. He says it's an educational process, letting public officials know and the public at large that nuclear is clean and reliable. I'd say the biggest challenge is addressing people's preconceived notions about nuclear energy, um, especially here in the Tri-Cities or right next to the Hanford site. Uh, people often conflate and confuse the work we do out at Energy Northwest with Columbia Generating Station uh, with all of the waste that was created from atomic weapons production at Hanford. So that's something that we often have to uh, overcome and really that just takes a lot of education. And so what we've been doing over the last couple of years is really just trying to get out um, do a lot of public facing events and also meet with legislators, thought leaders, environmental groups and others to really explain you know, the benefits that we provide and why nuclear is such a critical resource as we move forward to, uh, to meet the goals of the Clean Energy Transformation Act and have 100% clean electricity in 2045. It's all carbon free. Um, we have wind, we have solar, we have hydro and we have nuclear. Um, and we, we're committed to having a carbon free generating portfolio uh, going forward. Congressman Newhouse is also working closely with PNNL and Battelle in the Tri-Cities on developing new, innovative, and clean technologies. In fact, um, the, the leadership of the lab, of Battelle, um, of many of the uh, uh, influential, important uh, concerns that we have in the, in the Tri-Cities area, I meet with on at least a monthly basis. Is there anything that that Congress is doing to, to push any money in for technological developments and things like that, specifically to our region? So the federal government is uh, investing heavily, in, particularly in the area of small modular reactors, uh, to make that a reality as soon as possible. There's uh, uh, efforts in place, plans right now to build the first one. It will be in Idaho at the National Laboratory. We're working hard to, to bring uh, bring one to the Tri-Cities as well. How do we break through on the nuclear side to say, you know what, this is a viable clean energy source that can run 24 hours a day and give us tons of megawatts that's reliable? Well, I guess the proof is in the pudding, right? We, we have a tremendously 
Labs' a long a track record of safe energy production at the Columbia Generating Station. As 2025 gets closer, Congressman Newhouse continues to work harder to bring clean energy to his constituents. Reporting for the Powerline blog at Franklin PUD, I'm Mike Gonzalez.